Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to a lake. Yes. Uh, Frank is back in the post office. Is he? Can we see him through the window there? Is he doing his thing? Yeah, there he is over the back there. Um, and yes, we have deliveries to make, so let's do it. Have... Good morning, Providence Oaks. Oh, Here. hello, Jack. What's, what's today's pet peeve? Let's get this way. I keep feeling the need to check on the video store. Well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. The weather forecast sunny in the first half of the day and some clouds. Oh, you got to love the radio. To the playlist. It's cool. Yes, anyway, I've not played this for a little while. Um, so I'm going to be forgetting the controls and everything. And even forgetting what's happening in the story. I remember that we I did have a quick look at the last episode to make sure I remembered uh, you know, a little bit at least, which is what how I remembered that Frank was back. <laughs> We're babysitting tonight, but we also have to um can I get in that side? I can get in that side. But we also have to um, mine the cats for the old lady. So hopefully we can do both those things. Uh, we've got a letter for this one and then a parcel for the next one. Man, it's quite nice um, that you have all the mundane stuff in the middle though. I do enjoy just, just literally driving around delivering mail. <clears throat> it's uh it's a good time. It's a good time. Nice chilled. Nice calm chilled time. No pressure, no fuss. Well, I guess there is pressure. I don't know. We, I mean, we just got to deliver the stuff. It doesn't even we don't even have a clock, so I don't think there's even like a time limit or anything. You can't like run out of time. Um As far as I know, anyway, we're at 402 Pine Street, so we'll have that one. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought. Uh, it's obviously a manuscript or something. Uh, ring the doorbell. Ding dong. Oh, they're in. The oh, this is where we're babysitting. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday Delivery K. Okay, no. That there was no door noise. She just Someone's walked through the door. Yes, thanks for looking after Max. <coughs> oh, we've done it. Last night. He wore a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Uh. No problem. They were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was the concert? <laughs> Oh yeah, man! Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck Journey. in Journey all day. What did Journey do? Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much. I'm trying to remember what Journey did. I definitely know the band name. It's cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Prince or New Order? Okay. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. <laughs> oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper. Did they do um or Stevie Wonder? And before you go there, I know oh, you're what's that up one? Spleens and Hammond organs right Street now. Street lights shining up and down the boulevard. That one. Shadow searching in the night. Um Jokes on you because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the. Should have just laughed at that one, shouldn't I? I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I think that was Journey. Cool or just Don't stop believing. That's the song. No. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street light. Something over. Um, you never know until you put yourself out there. I guess that's true. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. 
I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell well. me what you think yet. Yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So you can get used to the idea. <laughs> what if she sucks? What are we going to do if she sucks? Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone. But I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Of course, that's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. I bet they could. Well, cool, yeah. I bet they could. No snows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Uh. Back to my own journey for now. <laughs> <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Her lips didn't move when she said that. Back to my own lip stop moving journey. Lip stop moving <laughs> for now. Amazing. Hello. 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 Honestly, how rude. People around here are just ignoring me. I thought everyone knew everyone in this place. And everyone was nice and kind and happy. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to deliver to Cat Lady. And I'm guessing she's going to be a bit upset because we were supposed to babysit and we didn't. Um, supposed to cat sit and we didn't. We, ba we babysat instead of cat sat. So yeah, that's going to be quite the conundrum. Are we doing anything at the store at the moment? I don't think we are, are we? Uh, we took some photos, right? Talk to Nancy. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Ah, amazing. Yep, yeah, I remember taking that one. Yeah, I remember taking that one. Uh, creepy old cabin in the woods. Yeah. Lovely mountainscape. Picture of um, the lady who I've forgotten the name of, who who freaked out and left on us. Um, has she actually left? Like, yeah, a truck in a driveway, post van. Wow, I took some sucky photographs, so I guess I just needed to finish, didn't I? Hmm, I guess I expected more from them, maybe. I'd just say happy. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. Well, how would I... Why did you not... Really? Tell me that. I would have loved that. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. Well, thank you. I'd like to think that talented <laughs> photographers also... We're going to be... Well, one can always dream. Persistently positive to this woman, because she's uh, she's always negative. Right. Oh, look, she came in the store. Didn't buy anything and left. You're weird, lady. You could at least say hello. What? Why did I set the bell off when the door didn't move? There's, there's a lot of unexplained goings on in this town. People warping through their front doors. It's, uh, it's a little bit frightening. Okay, we've got one to this house here, I be believe, by the looks of it. <sighs> deliver mail. Uh, got no females to deliver today. Back in the van, and right. Off down the road. Let's have a look at the map. Um, we can't. Uh, no, we can only autopilot. There's no point. We are close enough to not warrant the fast travelling. Jackson Street. Here we go. I've forgotten. Is there a horn button? No. There isn't. Oh, ah, there it is. Q is Q is on. Beep beep beep. Beep 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 beep. Hello home. Beep beep beep. Uh, cat lady is not outside, so that's good. She's not going to uh, harass us with complaints for standing her up. I don't know whether I technically did it or what. Just because I said I would, it like I don't know whether that sets stuff in motion. 
I guess we'll find out at some point. Next time we see her, she'll either complain at us or be uh, grateful. One of the two. Okay, another one here. Deliver the mail. Ooh, interesting. All right, now the next one is over there. So let's go fast travel to there. We're going to have to turn left. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, sorry, wrong side of the road. Nothing for uh, Mr. Ignorant in the uh, in the motel today with his video games. They were driving over the white light. I mean, I'm driving all over the place. I can't really complain, can I? Hi. Lots of people have got that car. That wood panelled... Uh, what do they call those? Station wagon. That's the word. Station wagon. Right. Is there a letterbox? There is a letterbox. Nice. Deliver the mail. Here's your mail. Nice. Okay, and now what have we got? Just a... Oh, we missed one. Oh, we've got um, our dude. Where are we? Yeah, we're pointing the right way. That's good. Our dude over here needs to... Uh, needs to have a, a letter. He's our, our romantic interest now because um, the other one left. Uh, hopefully she comes back though. I feel like it's weird her story ending like that. I don't feel like we really missed anything. Well, he's not outside today, so are we going to see him? Meredith. Ah, there we are. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I think you're avoiding me. Uh, yeah, go on. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from the town hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of... Yada, yada, yada. Concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada, yada, yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents well, no. of Soaks that contacted us with their unfiltered... Sure, it doesn't make a difference when it is. It worked. The plan worked. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. Oh, I'd love that. Well, let's great. do it. It's going to be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Well, no, it can't be abandoned. Like, they've delayed it six months, dude. They're not... That hasn't stopped them from building it. It's going to take them, like, 18 months to build it anyway. Maybe not. I, constructions are... Uh, not so significant in the States. They're uh, they're usually, like, wooden stuff, so they can be, they can go up pretty quick. Oh, I should probably fast travel. Yeah, I should. Let's go here. East Crossroads. Which way are we pointing? Yeah, we're pointing the right way. Cool. Yeah, I know in a lot of places in America, um, because of the hurricanes and um, tornadoes and things, people tend to um, do small... like constructions that are easier to put up again. Cheaper and easier to put up in case they get blown down. Uh, it's not true everywhere, obviously. It's just um, certain places. I wish you could actually walk faster. Right. Hello. Is there anyone to talk to in here? Here she is. Let's have a chat. Hi, Maureen. It might seem like I'm a bit tough on poor Ashley sometimes, but truth be told, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. Right. Uh, onwards. Uh, I guess we just hop in. 
Yeah, so there's obviously nothing else to talk about there. That was just a stock line. But we do have a parcel for, uh, looks like, Mr. Veterinary slash Fisherman, uh, who specialises in uh, animals eating cupcakes. I wonder if any of his fish have ate et cupcakes. Is that how he knows? Right, uh, there's a parcel. For 400 East Lakeview Boulevard. Up and down the boulevard. Shadows. I've got that in my head now. Searching. If you haven't seen Rock of Ages, you should see it. Either the movie or the stage show. I like the storyline of the movie better, but the stage show's performance is better. Because in the movie, there's like a miscommunication or like an assumption. Um, that dude gets cheated on. Hello, sir. Hi, Mr. Mackey. Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Whereas in the stage show, um, she does actually cheat on him. And it's a bit bit nastier. Uh, it's a, the, the movie is a happier storyline. I like it. Um, Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms for fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Okay. He is a bit dead behind the eyes, isn't he, that guy? I know that was said about Robert. Luke, I think, was saying that about Robert in the comments. Um, have great fun. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax work. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, we could go fishing with the old man. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. I'll do my best. I, I never know with these things whether I'm, like, agreeing to do stuff that clashes with anything else. That's the thing. Isn't there, um... Yeah, here we go. So, recording with Robert and Jack. Talk to Robert in the forest. Ah! Friday is Mildred's Cats. That's tomorrow. Or today, sorry. Okay. Excellent. Uh, that's cool. So we haven't missed anything. I thought I didn't realise it was uh, it was today that we were supposed to watch the cats. Well, I'd rather do the fishing trip anyway. So if it's a choice, I'll tell you what, actually, can we just fast travel back to town now? We can. That's good. You don't have to walk all the way back to the thing. Well, that's today's uh, journey done. I, like this job is easy. I wonder how much you get paid for it. It can't be a full-time wage because we're only going out for like an hour. Not even that. I mean, I guess it might be as long as an hour if we're uh, driving the whole thing rather than um, rather than fast traveling and stuff. So, like in real life, it would take an hour for sure. Is this a quiet day, or <laughs> does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. You've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. <laughs> I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. <laughs> Wow, awkward. Bert, can I ask you a question? If you do it silently. Oh. Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. <laughs> it's been a fine day and I thank you for the company. No, you don't. No, you, you, you don't really. Let's be honest now. You're like, I wish I hadn't brought her. Vice residence. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Well, weren't we supposed to go look after the cats? Oh, I've got music turned off. Let's turn it back on quickly. Uh, music volume. 
signs Thinking of what might have been Radio keeps track of time Hmm Okay, the, the text hasn't caught up with the sound yet. <laughs> um, that, that was not great. Oh dear. Phone rings. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Um, divorce? Divorce Contact papers? For the added 87 deal? You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But, before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say, to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is... Uh, I think it's just the end. During the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. Well, so, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. You're going to be a bit disappointed. In the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Right, well, there, there you have it. He's going to be bitterly disappointed because we're moving back here. Alright. Evening, feline friends. Cat time. It's going to keep you company tonight. Oh, yes. We get to be scary cat lady for an evening. No interaction with uh, with the old lady though. A postcard. Ah. From Angie. Angie, excellent. It's Meredith. I am so so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not so timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. There we go. I knew there'd be another Just meeting. Find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town or go back to the city or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward. I want to run away with you, Angie. I'd like to know if... Little old me figures into those plans somehow. They so, do. Anyway, I'll see you there. Yeah, love, Angie. Yeah, we. I think we're gonna end up with Angie. Why not? I thought she's got less of a like murderous stare than Robert does. Uh, okay. Package for the store. A majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds, and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll yeah, need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Oh, I forgot the radio thing uh, continues while you're out of the vehicle. Right, uh, Main Street. Main Street, there we go, that one. What on earth did these folks order? I mean, it's probably, well, I don't know, it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be, like, stock. Uh, They'd have our lorry come with that. That makes two of us. When are your parents coming back? Actually, they might just stay in Florida. Florida? Your parents? <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly is Actually, at the time of uh, recording this episode, um, a Wooga is currently in Florida. 
He's been sending me pictures. He went to see a Muppet show in a theatre, uh, which made me insanely jealous. And then he went to um, Disneyland uh, to Galaxy's Edge, which made me in even more insanely jealous. So, yeah, I don't like a Wooga at the moment. I don't like you, a Wooga. At the moment, I like you when you get back. It's fine. Um, very jealous, though. I wanted to see that sometime. I doubt I'll ever make it, though, to Disneyland, because... Yeah, I only wanted to go to Galaxy's Edge, just that one thing, and then then kind of come out and leave. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll ever manage that. Um, it sounds like someone's a little jealous. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Right. I better be on my way. <laughs> so long, Miss Sunshine. <laughs> she is, um, yeah, quite a thing. Oh, I need to turn the music off again. I forgot about that. Hopefully I haven't heard anything that's going to cause issues. Yeah, I should have done that as soon as it finished. Right, uh, we got... Oh, I'm. let's go down here. I missed the turning. There we are. Honk, honk, honk. Got to have a good old honk when, whenever you get the chance. Right, here we go. Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. Oh, lovely weather. Very British, uh, British weather day today. Here we go. Enter. Uh, where else have we got to go? Uh, fast travel to the east coast crossroad, coast road, crossroad, and uh, we'll head down to the farm. Wonder if he's still as mad as a wet hen. Oh, excuse me. Sneezy day today. Right. Okay. Um. Hello, farmer. Whatever your name was, Jack. Was it? Radio DJ, farmer Jack. Excellent. Uh, it doesn't seem to be in. So we'll just... Oh, he is in. Hey, fellow Providence Oakians. It's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen. Or Maureen. Oh, no. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. So the question is, uh, Kay's subpar musicianship. Are the town going to be supportive? Folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Music starts playing. Excellent. Farmer DJ Jack. DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, that's just me. Haven't seen them. <laughs> I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. But you're fine with broadcasting raining. Like you were a minute ago, with the door wide open. Yes, okay, so... Yeah, so what do you reckon? Are the town going to be supportive? Um, or not? That's uh, an interesting thing. Oh, we've got a box for the motel. What's this person do? Oh, they're um, metal detecting. Intriguing. Right, out we get, let's get a box. So yes, this is uh, where we're going to end today's episode, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Join me next time when we uh, deliver a parcel to annoying whatever his name is in the motel. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get through to him. I doubt we will, but yes, join me next time and... Uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye!